week on Community Reports, it's all about fashion designers and tailors, those who through craftsmanship use fabrics to create outfits for individuals, professionals, groups. I mean, they provide this basic human need for everyone. Welcome to the program. I'm Yomi Otaibi. Fashion design and clothing in Nigeria have over the decades been diverse. They reflect the different ethnic groups, personalities, religions and a mixture of traditional taste and modern trends. When it comes to clothing, Nigerians are considered to be fashionable and at the heart of these fashion are designers and tailors. Different people have contributed and are still contributing their quota towards the shaping and reshaping of the growing industry. Let's see some of the pioneers in Nigeria's fashion industry between the 1960s and the 2000s. Shadow Thomas Farm's notable creations in the 60s were the bubus and zipped wrapper skirts at a time when women's fashion was tending towards European styles on the back of post-colonialism. Lanre Ogunlese followed in the 1970s by creating alternatives for stylish Nigerian men. Falonsho Alakija of Supreme Stitches was not left out, and Abba Falawiyo of Labanella Creations also defined her styles, giving way for more designers to come on board. These pioneers have paved the way, and some of them firmly established on the local and international fashion runways. A lot has changed. We went from, um, I'm going abroad to get my clothes for a wedding that you're attending in Nigeria to getting designers to make clothes and even getting designers to make your wedding dresses. I think that is just excellent. And I think all of that is because we've become more confident in ourselves. Um, we've actually recognized ourselves as a fashion growing economy because um, when I think of those that come talk to me about mentorship and all that, people, it's growing every day. We have thousands of designers out there today. A lot more fashion designers and tailors are emerging and are practicing the trade at different levels, from small to medium and large scales. Hello. Hello. 
<laughs> nice to meet you. Thank you. Nice to meet you and too. Nice corner you have here. Thank you so much. In this mini apartment, I meet up with one of those fashion designers and tailors currently operating at a micro level. Taiwo Akinralabu, a graduate of social studies education from the Obafemi Awolowo University, talks about how she got into fashion designing. Because I'm a plus size person, I'm a size 16 UK person, um, I, I usually have problems with tailors. They mess up my designs and they tell me because I'm big, they, they can't do better. So until I met another tailor, she did a very wonderful job for a cousin, say, Ashwebi. That was when I fell in love with tailoring that, okay, if she can do this, I'm sure I can do, do this too, even better. When I wanted to start, space was a big thing for me. I wanted a very big space, you know, and then I kept pushing it off and all that. And at a point, my mom actually called me and said, you know what, you live alone in the house. And the living room just there. How many hours do you spend in your room? I said, maybe two, three hours in a day. And then convert it to something useful for yourself. You pay rent for that. You want to go and pay another big rent for another place. You know, you should convert your living room to... And I thought, convert. Would I start moving things? Would I start begging people to keep my things for me and all that? I just woke up and I said, you know what? Let me go for it. And I started. And so far, the journey has been beautiful. I don't regret starting this week. Taiwo is not alone in this. <laughs> Sheung Jeje, who's been practicing tailoring for about two decades and has trained almost a dozen tailors herself, however said operating from home is challenging. Since I started working from home, I've not been having people come in for apprenticeship as I used to have them when I was operating from a shop. I do not have challenges in getting jobs as old and recommended customers continue to call me on the phone for jobs and also bring their fabrics for sewing. But for Bumi Alonge, who studied mass communication from the Lagos State Polytechnic, engaging in this business from home comes with its gains. I have more joy doing my own thing, you know, more than, you know, going out to work for people. You know, I have time for my children, you know, unlike, unlike having a shop outside, the inconveniences, so that one is not there. So from home, whenever they need something, I quickly attend to them, you know, quickly, I monitor what they watch on TV, monitor the kind of people they play with, you know, I'm able to monitor their things.